Details on an early morning shooting in the Loris area. We now know one person died in that shooting and another is in custody. Police tell us it happened at a home on Alice Drive, which is right off Highway 554. And that's where we find our Ashley Listrom now. So Ashley, this is a story we've been following all day. So what's the latest out there? Rachel, a suspected gunman is now in custody after a person was shot and killed in their bedroom. It's leaving many neighbors in the area in shock. Breaks my heart so bad to wake up to something like this. Some folks in the Loris community woke up early Tuesday morning to police responding to their neighbor who'd been shot. There was cops and people running and going everywhere. But my heart dropped when I come out and found out what was going on. I talked to her daughter. She came up on there crying. She said, my mom was dead. So I went back to the house, got her a Mountain Dew, because she was all upset. Hours after the deadly shots were fired, around five homes were still blocked off by police with yellow crime tape as several officers investigated the shooting. Some neighbors say they are startled and heartbroken by the deadly shooting. It's awful. I mean, you never think nothing like this is going to happen where you live in your community. But it was a shock. It was bad shock. Neighbors add the victim was someone who was kind hearted and a pillar in their Alice Drive community. But she was a real sweet lady and it breaks my heart knowing something like this happened to her. She was a sweet lady and she stayed to herself. And she was just kind. I mean, she was an excellent person. Neighbors say they plan to give the victim flowers from their That's garden beautiful. for her to grow before the shooting happened. She came here the other day and walked around the house and picked out flowers what she wanted. I was going to give her some. While she'll never get to pick the flowers up, one neighbor says they promise they'll give her daughter the plants in her honor. The mama picked them out and that's what we're going to give her, the ones that she had picked out. At this point, the coroner's office has not released the victim's name as the office continues to let the family and loved ones know. Meanwhile, the Horry County Police Department has also not yet released the name or the charges of the person they have in custody. Live in Loris, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.